Police are seeking the culprit responsible for needles found in oranges bought over the weekend. One customer walked into the central police station on Monday with the injected fruits after nearly consuming them. Police Constable Wayne Frank, attached to the Pridia Lassany Task Force, spoke to GBN's news team on Wednesday. And well, not a thing, that Saturday the person would have bought a bag of oranges right, to make juice and in going to do so, in peeling it, they observed that there were foreign bodies, mainly needles, stuck in the in, in the in the produce. So they called um, they come in, they came into the station and this is the result of of it. Uh, the matter has been uh, been investigated and we're looking to hopefully by the end of the week or before the end of the week we'll be able to get to the bottom of this. Okay. The latest reports, he says, emanates from the south of the island. Frank says a bill of sale is one requirement vendors must possess, and consumers have the right to ask questions for their safety when making purchases. Okay. And as you see, Pretty Alasne continue to be a problem plaguing the farmers. Okay. And we cannot stop it. But we have to reduce on the occurrence. It is becoming a nuisance. Mm -hmm. And it's time that people understand that you cannot be doing those things. Law says that whenever you purchase anything above 15 pounds, you must produce a bill of sale. Failure to do so means that you could be charged for failing to produce a memorandum of sale. So we have to now ask people when they purchase to get a bill. Failure to produce one, you will be charged. Constable Frank says with limited manpower and transportation, putting an end to this scourge is nowhere in sight. He urges consumers to report these type of cases and not just throw away affected produce, as this will help the police in nobbing culprits. Them, yes, you're fed up. Yes, you're angry. Yes, you're tired. And that's the only way you would have known who. But the law says that you can't tint it because... That may not have been the only thing that got tinted. It may be something else that was shipped out of Grenada. Right? And once it is discovered that the product was tinted, there goes, there goes your market. You're losing that market with immediate effect. They will put up a freeze, they will put a ban, unless you can put programs in place to deal with problems like that. It remains an offense, according to law, for farmers to tint their produce. Christina John, GBN News.